So, it's time to squat. I think today will be probably my last week of going a little heavy. What's up, dude? A little Jeppers in the house. Old stuff, if you don't know about it, and you're an old busted dude, Echo Block. This is a liniment for horses. It gets super hot, and about a dime-sized amount of it is good for whatever feels busted to shit. Now, important to know, this is not some cure-all. This simply makes it better while you're training. And then it goes back to being really shitty. Time to start employing this stuff again, since where we're at with the knees and all that type of shit is things are consistent. And of course, what I mean by consistent is like, we've got pain, right? but it's always the same. Like it's not getting much worse or much better day to day, but we know how to predict it. We know how to make it sort itself out after training with cold bath and stuff like that. Let's, uh, let's get after it today. See how some heavy squats go on this old fucking broken body. All right, it's 200 kilos. That's where we're gonna stop today for, for the doubles. Hip in this area is all fucky. Knees felt okay, just uh, not not happy overall with how it felt. That's 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 as high on the RPE scale as I want to push. So, a lot of people get confused about using RPE, right? And I have an idea now, like after years and years of lifting, of what effort feels like. So that rate of perceived effort, like that's where I want to be on a scale of one to 10. Today to me felt like a probably seven. And I'm not pushing a lot higher than sevens or eights. Eight, nine, look, if things are feeling great. And those are the days you push that. So today, like today, things aren't feeling as awesome. I'm gonna back down off the weight and hit some reps at a lower weight. And this is gonna accomplish a few things, allow me to maintain better positions be less of a risk of injury, which is a bigger setback, and I'm gonna accumulate more work. The accumulation of work is what's actually gonna make me stronger, that stress to the muscle. You know, the beauty of training here in my garage by myself for as long as I have, there's no ego to stroke. No one's here. I've been stronger than this before. I've been, and I've been under a shitload more weight before. So no one's fucking impressed by me squatting 200 kilos. It's just effort. And today, this is as high as I felt it needed to go without the risk of injury. So this is a perfect example of how, how you don't let your program totally dictate what the day is gonna be. And that's the beauty of using something like an RPE skip. You know like what effort you wanna put out, and that weight's not always gonna be the same. I did something in a lot of my programming for a long time where I used something called a training max. So all of my programming was based off 90% of my real max. My real maxes were set on days like on the platform that I felt good, that the max was there, that I had spotters, like all these things came together and I knew what my true max was. But for training, like that's not always the case. Like I don't know what my life schedule is gonna be or any of this and that's how you can help auto-regulate without being so bummed out by what your program calls. Remember, in the big picture, the more that you can keep moving forward, the better it's gonna be. Forward without injury, is the most progress that you're gonna be able to make for the longest time. I'm not saying fucking dump it and just do light shitty weight for a long time. I'm saying that you can push yourself, but if you can take a little bit of smart and dump your fucking ego, like I was supposed to hit that number, this was the number I needed, fuck that. Do what's right for that day so you can live to fight again. And who's to say that the next time you take a shot at those bigger, heavier weights, you're not in a better position than you were the first time. Instead of having some weird setback, like you got out of position, or beating yourself up over it. You can just keep accumulating the work and doing things that way. The longer you've lifted and the more progress you've made, the harder those high level days are gonna be. 
the more things that you're gonna need to go right. You know, the comparison I had for this, oh, fuck. The comparison I had for this was in the Highland Games that like once I had traveled a lot and competed a lot and five or six years in and my PRs were pretty strong to where like may throw a PR or a couple that season. Like it took a lot more than just feeling good. Like I needed the right environment, the right field, the right weather because if the ground's too soggy, like you can't go fast. This goes across the board for all types of strength sports. The longer you've been at it and the better you get, the harder PRs are gonna become. It's not as simply a way as just chipping at five pounds every time that you need more right to be able to handle that weight. And so being smart while doing some auto regulation about how tired you are, how beat up you are, are you ready, can keep you smart enough to where you start manipulating those things. That I know that if I'm gonna have something going on, like the better I can get sleep, the better I rest, the better I adhere to my diet, do I need more carbs that day, do I need to change things up so that I'm putting myself in the best position possible to make that progress. But none of that outweighs being stupid and chasing a weight that you shouldn't fucking hit. Getting crushed, getting buried, missing a lift, what that does to you emotionally, not to mention actually being fucking hurt is your own fault. Like, look, if a catastrophic thing's happen, a knee blows out, you're on the platform, any of these things weren't under your control. But a lot of stupid fucking injuries are. And that's what the RPE scale is supposed to help eliminate. It's supposed to allow you to be a little bit smarter so that you don't have those problems. And I've said it before and I say it again that there's no right or wrong programs. Well, I mean, look, there are really shitty programs and they should just look obviously shit. Um, but any decent program should be something you can just apply RPE to, right? It's just that, you know, swap 90% with a nine, nine out of 10, right? And that way you can, you can auto-regulate a little bit more and it's less for the pounds. It works really, really well for athletes who don't know a true max or if you're an older getting back into lifting, I think it's a great way to auto-regulate your programming. I don't think you need to be running off of strict percentages all the time. These should just be a guide reference to what your day should be. So be smart with your training. Don't get fucking hurt. Listen to your body and make the right decisions on how to keep pushing forward. <sighs> so there's your squats. Yeah, so four, yeah, 440 today. That's, that's better, 440 for a double. Hips are really bummed out. We're gonna keep making progress. Keep chipping away at it. Uh, I'm out of town next week. And then uh, maybe we'll get some squats in with some friends. I forgot how hot Echo Block gets on your legs. That is not fun. Spread hate, always party.